hello. Today I am going to show you what I've been working on at the Women's Center of Greater Lansing for our upcoming event, which is actually tomorrow, November 2nd, and it is called In Her Cups, Bras for a Cause Art Auction, and this is so exciting. I'm really excited for it tomorrow for the setup. Um, this is it's all been building up since a couple months ago actually so I will just walk you through what I've been working on since the beginning of this project. Um, so it started out with um, a promotion that we needed to make and it's actually, oh no, this is the start. This was, we have in her cups every single year and this is our 10th annual one. And so let's see. Oh, this is one of the bras from last year, I believe. Um, so, and I will explain what In Her Cups is also. But it started with a logo, a PNG that was actually pink because that's been the theme. But since it is now transitioned into more of a domestic violence awareness sphere, um, we changed it to purple. And I did that in Photoshop. You just change the color a um, and then match everything that was in pink to the purple color. Um, but In Her Cups is an auction event where artists, um, where artists will make an art piece that is a bra, um, and it can really be in any form. It can be an actual bra, it can be a picture of one, a painting of one, really anything that has to do with making a bra, and we auction it off, and proceeds go to the Women's Center, um, and our main focus for this event is domestic violence and breast cancer. And so I started with this, and so this is just the Women's Center of Greater Lansing presents the 10th annual In Her Cups Bras for a Cause Art Auction, and then it says where it is, the Cadillac Room in Rio Town, Friday, November 2nd from 6 to 8.30. Um, tickets available, 25 for one, 40 for two. If anyone's interested last minute, I can actually sell them for $20 for students, but that is besides the point. Just a little shameless shout out. Um, but so we started with that and then I had to go on to Facebook and make a page because a large portion of our users um, or our viewers or just people who come into the Women's Center are on Facebook um, just because that's the people who we reach out to most and I'm trying to transition that more to Instagram so as you can see our Instagram has been fairly active lately just because I try to really keep up with that and get a, a lower crowd or a younger crowd I mean um, just because especially with domestic violence it occurs most um, between the ages of 20 and 24 years old um, so I've been working on this as well um, with more than just in her cups um, this was Dragon Bow our last event um, but yeah so I made the page on Facebook and then I posted it to the 517 in Lansing and then let's see if this loads it may not okay so this is like a calendar in Lansing um, and then I also made a page for this um, and so this is like the background of the page this is um, within the dashboard of the Women's Center of Greater Lansing site so um, I made a page and these are hyperlinks to this is to a ticket site which is right here this is where you can buy your tickets as you can see i bought my ticket <laughs> um and this is a call for artist entry form so this is a pdf that i had to make um and let's see so then i just had to upload that into wordpress and add it as a hyperlink and then change the button changed the text for the but um, for the hyperlink, excuse me, to the call for artist entry form. Um, this is what the entry form looks like. So as you can see, we have our logo. We have the call for artists, what it is, and why we put it on. And then down here we have all the entry form information. So all the instructions and then what people can do when they want to put in an art piece. As of right now, I think we have over 20 different art pieces, which is very exciting okay so let's see the past few days since it's the le week leading up i have been making a countdown so it's an easier visual to see on 
Instagram, but we have five more days, four, three, two, one, obviously. Uh, and every single day I've added a little more to the first um, just to get that build up. And then the captions are the same across all of our social media platforms. So that's Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook primarily. So we started with five, and then when I went to four, um, I started putting domestic violence facts. So right here, women between the ages of 20 and 24 are greatest risk, um, as I actually said before. And then three has its own, two has its own, um, and then one has its own as well. And let's see... I've posted that to our Facebook page, to our In Her Cups page, and so that's what I have been doing recently. Um, it's been a work in progress. Um, there has been, oh, and I made those graphics in Canva right here. I also made a couple more graphics um, because we changed, we changed the marketing from purchase your tickets to like why you should purchase your tickets to be a part of sur of survivor's healing process instead of you can get these cool art pieces because this has a little more of an emotional impact so really um, working on those pathos there for our audience and participants and that is what I have been doing at the Women's Center it's really fun and if you would like to check it out um, feel free to contact me so thanks